And we are back. Predictions. Week 13 edition. We went a whopping 11 and 5. Getting my lock of the re- week right. So lock of the week at 7 and 5. Uh, I went 11 and 5 that week. Putting my season total up to 122.58. Yes, you curious? Uh, I picked the Titans to be my lock of the week, and the games I got wrong were the Packers, Lions, Buccaneers, Colts, Patriots, Giants, Steelers, Bengals, and Rams, Cardinals. To get right into it, though, Seahawks, who are six and five, Cowboys eight and three. Both of these teams played on Thanksgiving, so back to back Thursday games for them. Seahawks got destroyed by the 49ers. Uh, 31 to 13. Opposite for the Cowboys. They destroyed the Commanders 45 to 10. Give me the Cowboys. I'm sorry, Seahawks. I just have no trust in you. This game is on 11 30, 8 15 p.m. Moving to our Sunday games, starting at 1 o'clock, all games Eastern Time on the 3rd. So, start of uh, December. We got the Colts who are 6 and 5, Titans who are 4 and 7. The uh, Colts ended up winning. 27-20 against the Buccaneers. Meanwhile, the Titans ended up winning 17-10 to the Pampers. I'm personally going to take the Colts. I feel like this could be a game where the Titans upset, but I just don't trust that Titans team enough. Give me the, uh, the Colts. Falcons-Jets. Falcons 5-6. Jets 4-7. The Falcons ended up winning 24-15 against the... Uh, the Saints and the Jets ended up losing the first ever Black Friday game, 34-13 to the Dolphins. I'm going to pick the Falcons to win this game while picking them as my lock of the week. So, there we go. Falcons, lock of the week. You better beat the Jets. Lions, who are 8-3 and three, at the Saints, who are 5-6. and six. The Lions ended up losing 29-22 on Thanksgiving to the Packers and the Saints, who just talked about Lost 24-15 to the Falcons. I don't see the Lions losing two in a row, so give me the Lions. And I'm sorry, Saints, you guys just have not looked good. Broncos, Texans. Broncos, 6-5. Texans, also 6-5. Uh, both these teams won last week. Or, excuse me. No, they didn't. The Broncos won 29-12 to the Browns, and the Texans lost 27-24 to the Jaguars. Uh, I personally... And this makes me sad to say, see, the Broncos winning streak coming to an end. I think the Texans are going to win them. It's going to be a very close, fun, interesting game. But I think the Texans, instead of missing the game tying field goal, they're actually going to make it, but it's going to be a game winner instead. Chargers, Patriots. Oh, geez. Patriots 2 and 9, Chargers 4 and 7. Give me the Chargers. <sighs> It's a horrific game. Cardinals Steelers. Cardinals two and nine. Steelers seven and four. Give me the Steelers. What are these games? Dolphins Commanders. Dolphins eight and three. Commanders four and eight. Give me the Dolphins. What are these horrific games right there? No, honestly though, Chargers are definitely beating the Patriots. Maybe the actually the Patriots win just basically based off of coaching. Cardinals Steelers. I don't see the Steelers losing to a Cardinals team. I mean, they've won, like, so many games that they shouldn't have. I don't see them losing games that they shouldn't lose. And then Dolphins Commanders. The Dolphins are looking like an unstoppable force. And the Commanders are just really struggling to win games. So, yeah. Panthers Buccaneers. The Panthers are 1-10. The Buccaneers are 4-7. This is our 1-0 and only 4 5 p.m. game. Oh. Panthers lost. Buccaneers lost. Give me the Buccaneers. I'm sorry. I don't... Oh, maybe the Panthers win because of the vision game. Panthers also did just literally fire everyone, so I'm going to take the Buccaneers just to be safe. Here are some decent games. 49ers, Eagles. 8-3, and 10-1. and one. Uh, If the 49ers win, they, you know, make the race for the one seed very close. If the Eagles win, they more than likely uh, beat the 49ers in the... Uh, the race for the one seed. And I do think the 49ers are going to pull off the win. I think it's going to be very close. I'm talking 
both teams, it's either going to be very high or very low scoring game. I do think the 49ers are going to win. I wouldn't be surprised if the 49ers didn't lose another game until the playoffs happened. Browns, Rams. The Browns, 7-4. The Rams, 5-6. The Browns ended up winning, or excuse me, losing 29-12 to the Broncos while the Rams ended up winning 38-17, something like that, to the Cardinals. I... I could see this game going either way as well. Both of these teams competing for the playoffs. The Browns also have a very decent chance of getting the one seed. They clearly, like, aren't the favorites. But they still have a great chance. I'm, I wouldn't even say great, great. They still have a chance. Meanwhile, the Rams, I mean, they realistically have a chance. But they're not going to. And they are... It's like half a game out of the playoffs right now. So, I do think the Browns are going to win this game. I think this is going to be an absolute amazing game as well. So, get your popcorn ready. Sunday Night Football, we have the Chiefs who are 8-3 and three and the Packers who are 5-6. and six. The Chiefs ended up winning 31-17 to the Raiders. Packers won 29-22 to the Lions on Thanksgiving. Once again, I think this has potential to be a very great game. No matter... How good the Packers play and how bad the Chiefs play, I don't see it like more than a 1% chance that the Packers win this game. So I'm going to take the Chiefs. I'm sorry, Green Bay. You're my favorite team. But this is what makes me, I feel like, such a good content creator is that I don't show bias. Finally, we have... Jeez, it's only been seven minutes. We have the Bengals and the Jaguars. The Bengals are 5-6. and six, The Jaguars are 8-3. and three. This game is going to be on the fourth, by the way. Bengals ended up winning, or excuse me, losing uh, 16 to 10 to the Steelers, while the Jaguars ended up winning 27-24 to the Texans. Uh, both teams have a lot to play for. Jaguars are fighting for the one seed. Bengals are fighting for a playoff spot. But what's ultimately what it comes down to is one team has their starting quarterback and the other team doesn't. I'm going to personally take the team with their starting quarterback. Give me the Jaguars. That's going to do it. To recap my picks, I have the Cowboys, Colts, Falcons, Lions, Texans, Chargers, Steelers, Dolphins, Buccaneers, 49ers, Browns, Chiefs, Jaguars all winning. With the Falcons being my lock of the week. In case you're curious about the teams on a bye week though, we have the Bears who are 4-8. The Bills who are 6-6. Six six, the Giants who are 4-8. The Raiders who are 5-7. The Ravens who are 9-3. And, and the Vikings who are 6-6. Six Remember, I'm currently 7-5 with Lock of the Week. I went 11-5 last week in just picks. And my season total is 122-58. and And in case you're curious about the playoff picture, rep representing the one seeds are the Ravens and Eagles. The two seeds, the, the one seed do get a, a first round bye. The two seeds are the Chiefs and 49ers. Seven seeds are the Colts and Vikings. The seven and two seeds play each other. The three and six seeds play each other. The three seeds being the Jaguars and Lions. And the six seeds being the Browns and Seahawks. The four and five seeds play each other. The four seeds being the Dolphins, Falcons. Five seeds being the Steelers and Cowboys. Uh, currently, there are no teams who have clinched the playoff spot. And there are no teams who have been eliminated from the playoffs yet. But that could change, I don't think, this week. But I do believe next week. So, be on the lookout for that. Uh, and yeah. There's, there's, I feel so bad. This has been nine minutes. But there's legit nothing else to talk about. Uh. Yeah, I, I'm sorry. I'm trying to find legit anything to talk about. But that's going to do it, I guess. I hope you guys enjoyed I did. I'll see you guys next time, which will be tomorrow uh, for Brown Franchise. Uh, ooh, quickly, uh, sorry about how long this video did take. Well, to come out, this has been a very short video. Uh, I know it is on Wednesday still, so it's fine. But this was supposed to be like an early morning video like it always is. Comes out like at noon at the latest. Uh, just very busy. I haven't had the time to record it until legit today. I try and, like, have, like, when I say record, I mean, like, 
I usually record it right after I'm done with school, but I try and have the video prepped, like all the pics and stuff, by, you know, night before. And I would just had no time with uh, working. And then, uh, you know, have to do school after work since it was such an early, uh, like, work day. And then having to go to sleep early because there was going to be plumbers here, like, at 8 in the morning. And still, I didn't even wake up in time. My grandma had to legit come wake me up to let the plumbers in. So, yeah. Sorry about that. Uh, don't worry, come next week, assuming there's no, like, last minute, uh, like, things that need to be fixed, like, nearly ASAP. Uh, AKA, plumbers having to come in again. Uh, we should be fine. So, I hope you enjoyed. I did. See you next time. Bear franchise. And I actually want to do a quick schedule update as well. Uh, so, more than likely, moving forward, we might have a different schedule. Don't worry. Tuesday and Wednesday will still be power rankings predictions. But the plan is I'm going to maybe do Thursday, Friday, and Saturday instead with uh, predictions. Or, excuse me, with Bears franchise. Or, excuse me, Brown franchise. And I have Sunday, Monday, be no videos. So, yeah. See you guys next time. Goodbye. Hope you enjoyed.